Hello again. Without wishing to sound like an old fossil droning on about the good old days, never easy at my age, I'll admit, I want to remind older viewers of the happy state of anonymity which citizens in this country once enjoyed. Fifty years ago, most ordinary people received their wages each week in a small brown envelope with a payslip in it, as well as the cash. Not everybody had a bank account in those days, and so this made sense. Of course, you could pay for things with a cheque, but really, most people paid with cash for practically everything in their lives. The use of cash guaranteed one complete privacy. One might even say secrecy. If you wish to spend your money in the pub, or on a prostitute, or by taking a train to South End then there was no record anywhere of any of it and no possible way of ever seeing where you had been or what you'd spent your money on. This was freedom. Times are very different now, of course, because 90% of payments are made by means of mobile telephones, debit cards and so on. Cash is definitely on the way out. Paper train tickets being abolished and one can only pay for parking now by means of a mobile telephone. Almost every single financial transaction leaves a clear trail so that anybody can at a later stage see exactly when and where every penny of your money has been spent. Because it's very seldom actually banknotes or coins changing hands, it's all done electronically. This enables people to be able to trace not only your financial activity, but also to see where you have been and at what time. I'm sure that everybody has noticed how this process became turbocharged during the Covid business, supposedly because money carried germs and was a threat to health, so cashless payments were supposed to be safer. Of course, the old argument is used that if you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to fear. Why should it matter if your whereabouts at any given time can easily be discovered? Only criminals or subversives need to worry about that. Personally, I don't buy it, but there is another excellent reason to be nervous about the declining use of cash, and that is that it gives our bank a stranglehold over us which can kick in at any time they or somebody in the government want to exercise their power. Although the money in my bank account belongs to me, it is entirely up to the bank if they will allow me access to it. I have had several irritating episodes when my bank has stopped a payment on some purchase until I've got in touch with them and explained what is going on. In other words, justified spending of my own money. This is theoretically for my own good in case my account has been hacked or I'm a victim of scammers or whatever. But it also serves as a very clear warning of what might happen if my bank decided to make life difficult or if the government put pressure on them. I wonder if anybody remembers last year when a lot of Canadian truckers were protesting against compulsory vaccines. The government response was simple and devastatingly effective. They declared a state of emergency and froze the bank accounts of the protesters. Just imagine that in this day and age, not being allowed to use your bank account. No card to draw money out with, no ability to buy anything other than with any cash you happen to have laying around. In a cashless society, this will be the easiest and most straightforward way to get any citizen to comply. Take a moment now to think about what it would mean if you were suddenly deprived of access to your bank account in this way. How long would you be able to survive? Would you have to start taking food parcels, scrounging from the neighbours, borrowing from your relatives? How would you pay your rent or your electricity bill? How long would the average person be able to hold out? I don't believe that Covid was part of some wicked plot, but it certainly was a huge boon to the British government. They were able to speed up all kinds of plans which they were hoping to slip in when nobody was looking. Instead of being surreptitious, though, they could do it all openly and tell us that it was all for our own good. The cashless society is a government dream, 
allowing them the ability to monitor and control our lives down to the tiniest detail. It is a dream for the state, but a hideous nightmare for the rest of us. Anybody who embraces the idea, because it is so convenient and secure, is a mug. The time will come, probably too late for us to be able to do anything about it, when we realise that the ability to pay for things with actual coins and banknotes provides us with enormous freedom. But once it's gone, it'll be gone for good.